how often should you communicate with your customers? And that really depends on you and your business. Some businesses like accountants, we're very lucky. We have recurring income. People need to get their basses done each, each quarter. People need to get their tax returns done each year. But we also have some services that are one off. Someone might be buying a business and want some due diligence. Someone's selling a business and wants some sale of business figures done. So it's important to keep the level of communication with your customers in line with the kind of services that you provide. They say it takes between seven and 14 touch points for a person to choose to, to do business with you. And that's a lot. And when you do any kind of sales training, it's all about follow up, follow up, follow up, because eventually the person's gonna to get to know, like, and trust you. And communicating with your clients is exactly the same. You wanna have enough communication that you're in the back of their mind if they've got a question to ask or are ready to buy your product, but you don't want to spam them out of existence or annoy the daylights out of them. Here at HBA Encompass, we've got these videos that we do. We put up a couple of times a week. If people want to watch them, that's great. If you don't, don't watch them. But what we're trying to do is to provide value for our clients. It's not a hard sell. I'm not sitting here going, I want you to buy this. It's more explaining things about business and what we do and what services that we provide. Getting people to know, like, and trust. And then we bundle it up into a monthly newsletter that has copies of all these videos and the blog posts that go with it. At other times of the year, we'll send email blasts out about things that are important. But we're really conscious of trying not to spam our customers. We want to make sure if we do send something out to them that they read it. So it's a very fine line. There's no definitive answer as to how often you should contact your customers. My suggestion is often enough to be back of mind, but not so often that you drive them crazy and they unsubscribe.